all right YouTubes? How are we all doing? Hope you're all well and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today's video is going to be just a painting video, a quick painting video. Um, been rushed off my feet lately so um, I've been struggling struggling to, to film like all the processes on jobs. So I'm just trying to grab some footage of some painting on this one. So I'll give you a look at the car and give you a little explanation of what we've done to it. So it's a Aston Martin Vantage convertible. Um, I think it's on about an 09, 2009. Um, and it's not a lot of damage. Um, these are like a fiber plasticky, fiberglass type material, these wings. There was a hairline crack through here. Had a previous repair that had been fiberglass. So we dug that out, feed it out a little bit, put some SM, SMC uh, carbon, carbon uh, fibre filler in there and then dressed it up with a little bit of filler and then the front bumper, uh, just some scratches and stone chips on it, nothing major. Um, keeping the strip into a minimum on this because they are absolute pain. Everything breaks, everything's seized where they've got aluminium and steel bolts on aluminium and just everything breaks just taking the grill out is six screws and three of them three of them broke so we took the grill out and that's it um customer don't want it all stripped off um so it's all masked up so i spent a bit of time masking it up so yeah we're just painting the wing and the bumper on the car um color again i don't know what it is with my paint system me personally like they just give up on aston martin Colour code that's on the car is one shade. I don't know if any of you have seen my previous Aston Martin videos, they're all the same. We've just got one shade with no colour chip for reference, so I can't check it. So I put the Spectro on it. It couldn't find that colour under that colour code, but it found some other Aston Martin colours, which were absolutely miles away. So we've done a scan across the system. Um, on the colour cards, found a colour card that was close to it, it picked out a colour card that was close, looked at the metallic on that, it looked pretty decent, then we compared the formulation on the colour card to the formulation under this colour code, and the tinters were pretty similar. A couple of them, one of the metallics was a slightly finer, and one of the pearls was, um, more of a transparent pearl so but everything else the ingredients wise was on the color card was pretty much the same as what's on um the formulation for this color code but it this color must be so far out the formulation on my system must be so far out that the spectro is not even picking it up so i've reformulated that color card um going in a bit blind with it but i've got plenty of room to blend it here and the only edge to edge bit is on this bumper but i will do a spray out as i go and um, check it before i lacquer it but it looked pretty good on the screen so i'm going for it so yeah we blending on this wing um, i'm going to put a coat of wet on wet on the bumper so i mask this wing off coat of wet on wet on there blender coat on the wing and then base coat and clear coat quick rundown of the clear coat and the guns i'll be using Um, so it's Meeper water base and like I say blender coat going on there. Wet on wet is going to be Meeper 4 plus 1, the wet on wet mixing ratio in a mid grey. Um, wet on wet is going to go on with my 1500B RP with 1.4. Base coat is going on with 5500X, X5500 start jet with a 1.2i HVLP and I'm going to clear coat it with the same gun x5500 and that's got a 1.20 set up on it and that'd be the clear coat um, sorry i've got them guns around the wrong way um and the clear coat's going to be cc9 going on there right that's it um i'm going to get it get it all degreased get the wet and wet on there and then get the paint mixed while that's drying and once the wet and wet's dry get the blender on there the base coat and then the clear coat so that being said i'll get it all degreased blown off and tacked off and we'll get some paint on it
like then YouTubes. That's the Aston Martin all, all finished and um give it a quick quick flatten a polish and um wasn't wasn't a lot to fit up just the grill to go back in it. Um yeah, so I didn't get any footage of the flat and polishing. Reese done it anyway, um, but it didn't require too much. Um, I've said on previous videos that I've done Aston Martins on the finish from factory isn't isn't a gun finish so they're hand flat and polished from factory and they do vary in texture um from the ones i've worked on they can see variations in texture but they all they have all got a, a, some sort of flat and polishing done to them um so this one it's pretty much gun finish actually it's quite handy on the wings um where they're flat on the top you can you can obviously put put a bit more clear on there and get it get it to lay flat so didn't really require any flatting across the top we've left that as gun finish and then even on this uh it's gun finish we left a bit of texture in there because this door seems to have a little bit of texture and then we just the bottom of it we just hand flatted a little bit around there just took a bit of texture out of it um and then with 2000 grit just by hand and then uh, 3000 grit and then yeah just machine polished it and the bumpers they're, they're gun finish from factory so we leave them as gun finish um, so yeah a bit of flat and polishing around this area on this lower piece and then a couple of little nibs in it nothing major and then um, yeah then just a good polish all over rotary and, and a dual action so yeah that's it all finished colour really pleased with the colour since we sort of went in blind and that was a colour card that was a colour chip so the Spectra picked out a colour card um, it's yeah and we recalculated a little bit it's, it's gone in really well blended no problem uh, there's nothing really edge to edge on this wing so we had plenty of room to blend uh, it's edge to edge on this bumper and um, it's not 100% but yeah it's, it's definitely acceptable I think and um, yeah it looks good enough so yeah, that's it for this video. Bit of a short one again. Um, trying to do do short ones and long ones and whatever I can really. Just, just try and mix it up. Try and make my content different every time if I can. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves. Cheers. <laughs>